little Lamaze. Yeah. Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. <laughs> Daniel. I'm Rex. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, uh, We're <laughs> I'm, I'm your birthing coach. Yeah. <laughs> okay, coach. so this is Nathan Huey, patron saint. Nathan Huey, patron Whoa. saint of whiskey. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> Thank you for the whiskey. Okay, so this is Westland, who I just, I love. Period. Yeah. The one whom I love. <laughs> so, it, like, it's, it's a biblical reference. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I recently found out this is really funny to me. The 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 book of the Bible where it says, um, was it John? Who was it? John, the John, disciple. Of John, the one who Jesus loved. Mm -hmm. Guess who wrote that? John wrote that. <laughs> <laughs> According to historical yeah. tradition, yeah. Uh, okay, so uh, so Westland is one of these distilleries up in the northwest that is obsessively art art and craft, right? Yeah. I mean, they've gone so far as they're trying to source their own peat in Washington. Yeah, and then they, welcome to American laws. Con all kinds conservation of Conservation and alcohol, and it's a... They make fantastic whiskey. Everything we've ever had of theirs, I enjoyed. This is a unique animal. Yeah. This is, I think, the third release of this, and it's called Garyana, and it's named after a specific species of American oak that is present in the Northwest that they harvested to use for their whiskey okay. that no one else is using. So they use Guiriana oak. It's, it's, uh, so you got Quiris albus, right, which is Gariana, American oak. Guiriana or Guiriana? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. Yes. They're all, you know, genus names. So Quercus uh, albus, American oak, and then, uh, but this is Quercus Guiriana. This is a Northwest can oak. I, right? can, I, can I say this? What? Are you getting almost a little bit of an earthy peat in there? Oh yeah, there's peat. Oh, there's, there's peat whiskey in here. There's peat in there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. It's like so. This Gariana <laughs> tree is weird as hell because there's like a peat element. So originally they sourced this, I think, almost entirely from the Gariana barrels that they had harvested, yard aged, coopered, and put whiskey in. Yeah. But now the demand for this is so solid, and they're trying to release it every year yeah. that they don't have enough of that whiskey. So uh, they're now blending it. There's now, I think, five total whiskeys okay. that go into this. So you've got the peated malt barleys that are going to the Gary Oak, New American, first fill bourbon, first fill port, yeah. and refill Westland casks. And they're blending those all together. This is now a true project of the entire distillery, right. creating this every year. Single malt whiskey. Yeah. American single malt. Nice. And this is one of the 2018 releases. Nathan, I didn't think I was ever going to get to try this, so thank you. On the nose, so here's the thing. Uh, not big, iconic, Isla-heavy peatiness. No. But definitely peatiness that you can pick up on. It's not hidden behind a lot of elements. But this reminds me of when Balvenie did their peat week, because behind the peatiness is not salt and thin, shiny, Salt water yeah. Yeah. behind the peat is the dense earth floor, you know, forest floor mustiness. You know what's crazy? Every time I come back to this, mm -hmm. like we've been doing this for like a few minutes now, mm -hmm. the first approach, I'm getting, ah, oh, there's a hint of peat. The second approach, oh, there's definitely, there's Ash. definitely some peat. Yeah. It's like, and now I'm like, the fifth or sixth approach is like, oh, the it's peat. still growing. The peat on well, this it, thing. It turns out. A slightly ashy after a few smells and some air. Ashy and then... But then there's like a dark chocolate behind there. And then there's this sort of like um, like mulch floor. That smoky, earthy, just like soil. How did they do that? So, shut up. I'm talking. Shut up. No, you, you don't talk, I talk. Here's the thing. God, that's so good. <laughs> So, a moment. so whoa, he's walking off camera. You need to sit down. Just face the other way. It's fine. Just face the other way. I'm not gonna. <laughs> Just face the other way. They, they have successfully combined, <clears throat> successfully combined, combined two of my most beloved flavors in whiskey. Okay. In perfect harmony. Okay. That dark coffee. I love me. 
it's that super nutty, mm -hmm. almost a coffee, super nutty yeah. though. Yep, nutty. Deerhammer had it. Yes. Westland, yeah. the original Westland, Westland had it. And it was like, oh, yeah. Westland, I remember the thing that I love about Westland and Deerhammer mm -hmm. is that really rich nuttiness. Yeah, from like a Colombian roast yeah. or Colombian bean. And in perfect harmony <clears throat> is that peat. Mm -hmm. And I've never had those two things together. Mm -hmm. And it is phenomenal. They, yeah. they complement each other so well. Yes, they do. That is a beautiful whiskey. And you know what? There's nothing to compare it to in Scotland. No, in the because States, there's nothing to compare <clears throat> it to. No, and, it but, stands alone. Yeah, I totally agree. But there's nothing, especially if they're trying to mimic, you know, Peter Scottish whiskey is what you're going to compare it to. But there's nothing <clears throat> in Scotland that comes close to that combo. You may get some of the similar ashy notes, but you're not going to find that nuttiness at the same time. Yeah. You may get some of the nuttiness, but it's usually coming from sherry cask. Right. And so it's giving you the, uh, ol the Oloroso nuttiness. Right. But... This is... This, dude, so... How do you move on from that? I just... We're gonna. Do, are we? We'll set it aside, are just we don't gonna, waste it. Are we gonna move yeah. on? So the next one... Oh, this, I know. This was I know. phenomenal. Uh, edition 3-1. Yeah. Can I have all of the editions? I want all... This is 56. This is a high... 56%. Yeah, but... It doesn't smack you around like a 56%. No, it really doesn't. It usually does. I don't want to... I'm gonna keep it up here. No, no, no. We'll set it right here. No, so it can be appreciated. Oh, okay. So it can be appreciated. Okay, this is from Colorado, and this is from Ty Phelps. Ty Phelps. Oh, the Andalusia. Andalusia. Yeah. Ty Phelps, you magnificent bastard. Fight. So while Ty was uh, in Colorado for the whiskey event, right. he went to the store and picked up a bunch of Colorado malts. How much of a dude is that? He sends whiskeys from other distilleries. Yeah. He owns a distillery. He sends whiskeys from other distilleries. That's a dude. Yeah. Yeah. Now this is two year old single malt from a distillery in Colorado. All right. All right. The anything, um, anything following up this lesson is going to have a hard time. This is from Lyons. Lyons? Lyons? Lyons. Uh, anyway, it's just, it's, uh, they're doing Straight everything malt. themselves. They're even making their own stills. Right. <laughs> like, they're even hammering their own copper. Right. But, um... So I'm trying to be really fair. And... These are both a malt. Right? Yeah, 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 but you can't compare it to the Garyana. That was it's a not, it's fair not fair. Okay. okay. So hold on. Hold on. It's okay. It's okay. Shh. It's okay. It's okay. Shh. Yeah. So, don't set this side by side. <laughs> so, they are... A cool thing that they're doing is they're releasing one barrel at a time because they like how each of the barrels taste yeah. instead of blending it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like, let's just really... And they don't care that there's a variance in flavor profile because sure. they're like, no, we're just doing a barrel at a time. This is barrel 61, bottle 117. Right on. I'm getting a, a, a nose on this mm -hmm. that it fits in single malt, but I don't get it often. I don't get it. What is this? I, there's a sour... But it's not the sour we always pull back no, on in terms of the green, young leather. It's not that sour. No, this is a milk sour note. You a see what I mean? A little, yeah. So not when it's bad, but when, you, when you're starting to wonder and you check the container, right. and you're like, no, nah, it's still probably so good. The smell, the smell of milk whenever it's not bad yet, but you're smelling it and then you, you look. Yeah, no, no, we're, no, we're, still we're probably good. fine. Yeah, we're still good. So remember, in high school, I was in FFA, the Future yeah. Farm Makers of America, Farmers of America. Right. And um, and I, I was on the milk judging team. Oh. And I don't like milk. Right. Neither do I. But it was I just got assigned to it by the class teacher. Right. And I'm like, ah. Oh. So one of the things in milk judging is you have to go through like 15 milk samples. Right. That they've fucked with. Oh. And you have to tell them how they've doctored it. I, I'm remembering a scene from one of my favorite movies of all time, Napoleon Dynamite. Oh no, yeah. Napoleon was in a milk judging. Yeah, and he was really good. And he was amazing. Yeah. Like, this one got into an onion patch. And That's right. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it was. Oh, you yeah. You could smell onion. Oh, You wow. could smell if it was sour. You could smell because if you leave milk out next to things, it sort of... It absorbs. Absorbs things yeah. around it. I'm getting some of the memories of FFA milk judging. All right, I'm going for the taste. Because that that slightly sour note is dominant for me on the nose. Yeah, and I'm still getting the... If you get behind that, there's some still, like, malty notes. Now, it hardly shows up on the taste. On the taste, you're presented with the yeah. sweet, the sweet butterscotch barley. Butterscotch malt. Yeah, the sweet barley, malty. So that's weird. So if it had honey, been me... Honey and the butterscotch. <clears throat> Honey and butterscotch. I would have been happy with this flavor, with a taste. Oh, yeah. 
But I wouldn't have been happy with the nose. It is the, so every once in a while it happens, you will get a nose that is very different than the actual taste. Usually the nose is going to give you a really good clue about what's happening in that glass there. It's already going away. Smell it again now that you tasted it. A bit, So yeah. what, what I would guess is that it's a house thing that they've sort of become blind to. Okay. Because it's it's already getting buried for me now that I've tasted it. Right. And now that I'm getting the scent from my throat as well as the scent from the glass, so it's harder to find that let's, nose. Let's, let's give notes from this point on because if it takes this one little nosing in the sip to acclimate to mm. that... A uh, slightly sour smell. No, it's back. Okay, so we have unacclimated. We have to just keep drinking, Daniel. Just keep drinking. <laughs> no, just keep drinking. You know what's up? But on the taste again, doesn't show up on the taste. No, Money. on the taste, it's simple. Uh, it's simpler than you would think. For it's forty-five percent uh, honey, malt, malted. Yeah, it's just a malt barley. roundness and honey. Yeah, that's it. Some sweetness. It's nice. It. I like it. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. Relatively simple. It, this, I would and put on category... Taste is better than the nose. Yeah, I would put this on category with a good hangout and just background without being offended by it whiskey. I think so. I think so. I'm going to dive in one more time. One more time. So once again, I've acclimated. I think while you still have some whiskey in, in your, your mouth, mouth yeah. then that slightly sour element on the nose... But is if it. you wait too long, if it you, comes back. Yeah. You yeah. know? Almost, almost get the slightest bit of uh, a shortbread cookie, like you find in Irish whiskey. Mm -hmm. Just a slight shortbread cookie note in there. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. All right. All right, here's the fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight, may you fight for a friend. If you steal, may you steal a lover's heart. And if you drink, may, may you drink, drink with us. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the Whiskey Vault. Don't forget to throw in a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, and drop a question or comment down below.